So if you've been shopping for a mattress online for a little while now, there's a good chance you've heard of the brand Nectar. But why would you want to spend up to get one of the Nectar Premier mattresses over the original? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen. I am with CNET.com and we've got our review of the Nectar Premier mattress, which is the middle tier mattress of the Nectar mattress lineup. We're gonna talk about the all foam version and the hybrid. There's a few differences here and just everything you're gonna to wanna to know about it. We've got a ton of information linked in the description to help you with your online mattress search, including full written reviews of these beds, comparisons to other popular mattresses. We got some best lists down there. And most importantly, the best discounts you're gonna be able to find on the Nectar Premier mattress will be linked down there as well. We watch these prices constantly and have the most up-to-date pricing pretty much all the time. So make sure you look down there. Let's kick the video off by covering the general policies you should expect if you decide to purchase this particular mattress from Nectar or any Nectar mattress. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. Now, Nectar did send us out these beds for free so we could test them out and tell you about them. But if you get one for yourself, you're gonna start with free bed in a box shipping. Now, in a box is how the vast majority of beds are shipped these days. There are a select few that'll ship full size via white glove delivery. But if you order a mattress online, odds are you're gonna be unboxing it. The unboxing process is very quick and easy to do. You shouldn't worry about it. Although I do recommend having someone there to help you because the beds can get kind of unwieldy and a bit heavy. I've unboxed several beds by myself and while it's definitely not impossible to do, it's certainly less enjoyable. Now, one thing I wanna mention for the Nectar Premier mattress specifically is that because it uses a lot of memory foam, there's a really good chance that right out of the plastic, it will maybe look a little misshapen. It's probably gonna have a bit of an odor to it and it will probably feel very soft right out of the box. Like if you lay down on it, you might sink all the way down to your foundation and think, oh no, the mattress I bought is broken. That's totally normal. You should expect that. It's just because it's been compressed in that plastic wrapping for so long, it just needs some time to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level, which should probably happen after about a day or two. And you actually shouldn't worry about it because Nectar goes above and beyond the usual 100 night trial period with a, an entire year to sleep on the mattress in the comfort of your own bedroom to really decide if you like it or not. If at any point within that trial period, after the first 30 days, most brands will ask you to sleep on the mattress for at least 30 days before initiating a return, you can return it and get a full refund, which is really nice. And it's one of the reasons people feel comfortable buying a bed online because it's backed by that risk-free trial period. If you decide to keep the bed though, Nectar backs this bed with a lifetime warranty, which is again, above and beyond the usual online mattress standard. So overall, pretty generous policies, but that's probably not the reason you're gonna be buying this bed. You're gonna be buying it for a lot of other reasons, which we're gonna be talking about next, including its construction and feel. So the Nectar Premier is a 13 inch thick mattress and it comes in an all foam version and a hybrid version. The only real difference in construction is the fact that the hybrid version uses pocketed coils as its main support base, as opposed to foam. The pocketed coils give you a few different advantages, namely being more supportive and durable over the long term, especially for heavier people. We pretty much always recommend if you are in that 220 pound plus range to get a coil mattress for this reason. You'll probably be fine on the all foam version of this mattress for a number of years, but the coil one's probably just gonna last a bit longer, and I think it's worth the investment. The coils also just add a bit extra bounce to the mattress, which some people like myself enjoy, and some extra airflow. Conversely, the all foam version will do a bit better at motion isolation, which means if you are sharing this mattress with a partner and they toss and turn a lot, there's a better chance that you won't be woken up by the motion transferring through the mattress. So there's some pros and cons to have a hybrid and an all foam version. Just know that we have both options available with this mattress. Above the support layer, you have a three inch thick layer of transition foam. This is here to really make sure you don't really feel the coils or the dense foam underneath and adds a little bit of responsiveness to the mattress. And then you have the primary comfort layer of the Nectar Premier, which is a very thick three inch layer of gel memory foam. Now, interestingly enough, the comfort foams, according to Nectar's website that's used in the original Nectar and the Nectar Premier, is the exact same. It's just supposed to be thicker on the Nectar Premier. Now that foam is definitely an inch thicker. However, we didn't really find that the foams behaved in the exact same way. On the original Nectar mattress, that top layer of comfort foam behaves very much like a classic dense memory foam. It is very slow to respond when you relieve pressure from it, which is kind of the calling card of a classic memory foam. However, we found the Nectar Premier, even the all foam version, to be noticeably more responsive than the Nectar Original, which means when you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into its original shape much more quickly. 
So this means that we found the Nectar Premier to have slightly less of that classic dense memory foam feel in comparison to the original, but it's still noticeably memory foam. Personally, I find the feel of the Nectar Premier to be noticeably more comfortable than the Nectar original, and that's just because I'm not a huge fan of traditional memory foam. However, I think the Nectar Premier will please traditional memory foam fans and be more accessible to those like me who aren't really. And on the Nectar Hybrid model, we actually found it to be even more responsive and less like memory foam because the coils are more responsive than the support foam. So just keep that in mind. The other noticeable difference between the hybrid version of the Nectar Premier and the all foam version is its cover. On the all foam version, it's actually removable and machine washable, which means if the cover gets really dirty, you just wanna give it a regular deep clean, you can actually toss it in your washing machine. And then we actually recommend hang drying it. Although I think you are able to put it in your dryer, but I think hang drying is the way to go. On the hybrid version, the cover is actually fixed. It's stitched in there, you can't take it off. So that is one kind of bonus for the all foam version because not a lot of mattress covers are machine washable like that. Moving on to the firmness of the Nectar Premier, this is another pretty significant difference between this mattress and the original Nectar. We rated the original Nectar at around a medium firm on our firmness scale, which means it's a better option for back and stomach sleepers and certain combo sleepers. However, the Nectar Premier is noticeably softer, both versions, and we actually found that to be around a medium. So it's gonna be more accessible to all sleeper types, including side sleepers. This is actually, in our testing, the softest bed that Nectar has to offer, and it works pretty well for everybody. If you want something firmer, you obviously have the Nectar Original right there. And we actually found the Nectar Premier Copper, which is the step up from the Nectar Premier, to be right in between those two in terms of firmness. So if you are more of a side sleeper looking for a softer bed, the Nectar Premier is probably the way to go in the Nectar Mattress lineup. And then the last really, really big thing we need to talk about is pricing. The Nectar Original is a super affordable mattress. It's one of the reasons it's extremely popular online. And the Nectar Premier is still quite affordable in the grand scheme of online mattresses, despite it being more expensive than the original. For a queen size right now, as of when I'm recording this video, you can get it on discount for around $1,100. And that includes free sheets, pillows, and a mattress protector. Nectar should pretty much always throw in at least two free pillows. Lately, they've been doing the sheets and a mattress protector combo. That might change in the future. Make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on Nectar. Nectar overall has just been a pretty affordable brand for a long time now. And if you wanna to upgrade to the hybrid version of this mattress, you're gonna be paying an extra 200 bucks. So that's gonna be around 1300 bucks. The price gap between the all foam version and the hybrid has actually increased over the last couple months. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping for this particular mattress. And that leads us with the question, who should think about getting the Nectar Premier mattress? And I think it's a pretty wide range of people. Because it's noticeably softer than the Nectar original, it opens it up to more sleeper types, including side sleepers. And it has more of that balanced memory foam feel that I think even people who don't love the feel of memory foam will probably be able to get by on, if not enjoy. I think this is the most accessible mattress in the Nectar mattress lineup, especially given that it is not all that expensive after discount. When you factor in discounts, it's about as expensive as the original Casper, not much more expensive than the original Lisa, and this is the middle tier mattress in their lineup. I think overall, really solid value. But let us know what you think about the Nectar Premier or the Nectar Mattress lineup. Let us know in the comment section. And if you have any additional questions, make sure you look down below in the description. I've said it a lot, but there's a ton of stuff to help you with your online mattress search, including written reviews of these beds if you're more of a reader. And we should have comparisons to other popular mattresses and some best lists. There's a lot of resources down there, including discounts. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Owen, a scene at home. I'll see you in the next one.